Okay, in this video we're going to uh, look at a couple of different systems and determine whether or not they are linear systems. And the way we'll do this is by testing whether the two systems meet the uh, criteria for being homogeneous and being additive. So let's begin with a simple system. Um, in fact, let's begin with a really simple system. Whoops, because that's about the best I can draw today. Okay, so let's suppose that we have a system where, as usual, the input is x, and this is a system that just has a gain of 2. So the output, y, is just going to be 2 times whatever the input is. Okay. And we want to ask ourselves then whether or not this system is linear. Okay, so the first thing that we need to check is whether or not the system is homogeneous. And the idea, again, for a homogeneous system is if I take some constant times an input x, then this should give me a constant times the output y. So as I scale the input, I scale the output. Well, is that the case um, for this uh, particular system? If I um, put a x of t, so if I put this value into this system, it's going to have a gain of 2. So um, Let's see how best to represent this. So, well, let's um, suppose the ax of t goes in. So it's going in. And then the thing that comes out is going to be 2 times the input. So it's going to be 2 times ax of t. Okay. So, again, if I'm putting ax of t into the system, then the thing that comes out of the system is 2ax of t. Now, is this guy, what we have to ask ourselves now, is this guy equal to, that's a curved equal sign with a question mark, 2a times y of t? Okay, well, when I put x of t into the system, I got 2x of t out. So I can actually take this to ax of t and write it as a 2x of t, right? Everybody believes that from algebra. And you'll notice now that this part of the system, or this part of the output, is the same as what I defined here as y. So this is indeed equal to a y of t, okay? So what this says is, yes, if I put a x of t in, then I get a y of t out, okay? So the system is homogeneous. So in fact, we'll just over here, homogeneous. We'll give this a big check mark because it's, we've shown that it's true. Okay, so now we need to find out, is the system additive? So we'll tidy up some of this mess here. Okay, that's much tidier. Uh, we'll tidy away this arrow here. There, oh, no idea what was going on there. Okay, so the next question we need to ask is, is this system additive? Okay. So the idea here is we're going to put a signal x1 into the system, and the output of the system is going to be 2 times x1. Okay, We'll put a different signal x2 into the system, and the output of the system will be 2 times x2. Okay. And we'll call this y1 because this is the response to x1, 
we'll call this y2 because this is the response to x2. Now the question we ask is if we put x1 plus x2 into the system, what comes out? Okay, well, so conceptually you think about this guy. It goes into our system and out pops two times the input. So that would be 2 times x1 plus x2. Okay, and now the question we have to ask is whether this is equal to y1 plus y2. Okay, so again, this is the big question. Well, uh, let's see. I can uh, use the uh, distributive law to say that this guy is 2x1 of t plus 2x2 of t. And if I look at this carefully, I notice that this is the same as this, and this is the same as this. So in fact, the thing that came out of the system when I put in x1 plus x2 is indeed y1, which is this guy, plus y2, which is this guy. So I can now say that this is also additive. And um, since it's both homogeneous and additive, I can say that a system that has a gain of 2 is a linear system. Isn't that exciting? It gives me a deep sense of satisfaction to be able to say that. So uh, we'll actually stop this, or this will be the end of this video, and we'll do another example in the next video of testing homogeneity and additivity to determine if a system is linear.